Halloween Horror Nights has been going on for 27 years. There are few fans, though, like Dave Solo here. He's been going the last 13 years, is that correct? 13 consecutive. Lucky number 13. He's also a podcaster and uh, Walker Nation, right? Walker Nation weekly podcast going on four years, all about horror. <laughs> all about horror. So an event like this comes along. Is this like Christmas to you? I mean, is this it? This, this is our Christmas. This is our Super Bowl, uh, and we would not miss it for the world. What do you think the most popular houses are going to be uh, this year? Obviously, I think this one we're standing in right now. Right. We have the biggies. You know, American Horror Story, Saw, The Shining, which has, has been one that horror fans have been dying <laughs> to see. Uh, and also Ash vs. Evil Dead. It's, it's a great show as well. So I think those are the biggies that everyone's going to run to as soon as they get through the gates. Uh, there will be some zombies over here. I feel like zombies have been kind of the, the popular go-to, um, you know, scare factor these years. But that's changing a little bit now. Yeah, I mean, I would say expect the unexpected at Halloween Horror yeah. Nights, so I can't confirm nor deny that there will be any zombies, but there will be plenty of dead things. Mm -hmm. I want to get your tips on, again, super fan here. For those a little nervous, maybe it's their first time going, what are your tips to having a fun time and not being totally scared to death and surviving the night? If you're nervous uh, and you're, you're skeptical about coming, I would say do your research. Watch the, some of these uh, shows like American Horror Story. Watch The Shining. Uh, come with some friends that you can cling to. Those <laughs> big friends. Big friends, right? <laughs> uh, also, remember you have eyelids, so at any time you can, you can close them. There are also safe zones around the park, so if you find yourself getting overwhelmed, head to one of those safe zones, maybe grab a churro and a soda, and just take it easy for a little bit. Uh, also, a beautiful thing about Halloween Horror Nights is select attractions are still open, so you can go ride the mummy and have a great time and enjoy what you'd enjoy during the day. Okay. I think I'm ready to go find my safe zone now. Okay, Dave? Right. Head to <laughs> HalloweenHorrorNights.com forward slash Orlando, and you'll find a safe zone right there. All right. Sounds good. I'm going to go do that now. Thanks, Dave. All right, my pleasure. There's also certain areas in the park, scare zones, and they live up to their name. There's five of them this year. This is Blake. He, that's what his job is, to put these scare zones together. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Uh, we like to say that uh, you got nine haunted houses, and then there's five more haunted houses. They just don't have a ceiling <laughs> as they're out on the streets, because if there's one thing that you cannot escape, it's walking into the street. So the first thing you'll experience, and the last thing you'll experience are the scare zones. There's five different ones this year, and we've got some original concepts of like fun sci-fi aliens with a crash spaceship experimenting on humans. We've got a festival of the deadliest where all these underworld creatures are coming out to party and celebrate. Uh, we also have uh, an altars of horror. We can get a look at all the different uh, films that are being done in our houses. Those characters will be out on the street. And then we've also got the film The Purge happening out in New York and then hanging out here with yeah, us. Yeah, who are our friends here today? This is our buddies that are from the film Trick or Treat. Uh, and it's been a really amazing experience to turn our Central Park area Area mm -hmm. into a neighborhood where all the Americana Halloween looks that you see from that film are brought mm -hmm. to life with uh, some yeah. few Kuby mm -hmm. individuals, especially <laughs> our buddy Sam, who is here to teach everyone the rules of Halloween. And if they don't follow the rules, things get rough. I don't, I don't want to know what happens if we don't follow the rules. <laughs> and especially for you, uh, we've got a collection of undead roaming zombie chainsaw clowns. I know. So chainsaws, because years ago when I went to my first Halloween Horror Nights, that's what you think of with Halloween Horror Nights as well, the chainsaws. Are they in the scare zones? Where are those bad boys? Um, they're roaming. Okay. So they could be anywhere. Okay. Um, I like the face you make when I say that. Uh -huh. um, but uh, a lot of uh, that gang you'll see moving in and mm -hmm. about uh, the entire scare zones. We make sure that nowhere yeah. is safe. Tell us about the reactions. Are you here in the park and, and when the events are going on and kind of seeing what you've put together uh, come to life? Is it fun to kind of sit back and watch? Every night, it, <laughs> and uh, usually every night we pick a different spot that we end up finding a bench to sit down mm -hmm. and just try to hide laughter as people get scared left and right <laughs> walking through the scare zones all night long. And is it true the more scared you are and the more you show it, it just makes it worse for you? Um, I feel like that's a trade secret. I don't know. You're trying because if I say yes, people might try to, uh, to hide themselves, but there's no there's no hiding. But uh, I will say the people that scream the loudest do uh, start to become big targets when okay. it scares. All right. Duly noted. Blake, thank you so much. Job well done. Again, I uh, can't believe it. 27 years. 27 years. Uh, the longest running, and this year, uh, literally the longest running in 34 nights that we've had going on. Um, but the biggest Halloween event and the best one. All right, thank you, Blake.